My name is Kay Rushlow. I'm in seventh grade at Patapsco Middle School, and I live in Ellicott City, Maryland. I was two when I started cooking. My mommy has a picture of me standing on a stool in front of the sink, peeling cucumbers. I can't remember a time when I wasn't in the kitchen. My mommy was the one who taught me how to cook. She's an amazing home chef, and I love spending time with her in the kitchen. My recipe is called Kate's Quick Quesadilla. One night when we were making dinner, I asked my mommy if I could make quesadillas for dinner. The only option that I had in mind was black beans, corn, and roasted red peppers because those were three Mexican flavors that I absolutely loved. I still remembered that when I entered the contest. And with a little bit of adjusting and adding some new spices and great presentation, I created a healthy dish that would suit anyone's taste buds. Kids don't have to go to a fast food restaurant to get fast food. They can make their own fast food at home. Kids love to be creative. And the kitchen is like an art studio, except you get to eat what you create. Winning this cook-off would mean a lot to me because sometimes I feel like people don't know who I am. I like to eat healthy food, but that doesn't mean my food tastes terrible and bland. I love good food, and I love sharing healthy recipes with others and showing them that healthy food can taste amazing. Kate's participation in this cook-off has impacted our family in that we've told friends and family across the nation about her participation. She's made the quesadillas for our neighbors in Maryland as well as friends and family in Pennsylvania. We've sent the recipe to Colorado as well as uh, to grandparents in Nebraska. So it's the recipe has uh, spread across the United States and it's been pretty exciting to see her prepare it for so many people. We've always been a he healthy family and uh, this has just added just another uh, exciting dish to our repertoire of things that we eat, uh, not only for dinner but snacks as well. Our proudest parental moment has been watching Kate being so creative in the kitchen. When she's making a recipe, if we don't have a particular ingredient, she just thinks to herself, what could I use in its place? She improvises and usually makes the recipe better than how it was originally intended. So it's exciting to see her use her creativity. My name is Keaton Reedy, uh, I'm 13 years old, I'm in 8th grade and I go to Mountview Middle School. I learned to cook when I was about 6 or 7 years old. My dad, he's a really great cook and uh, he kind of let me assist him in the kitchen but it wasn't until about I was 10 or 11 years old that I really started to cook individually by myself and just started to create new dishes and have a lot of fun with the, with the cooking I was doing. My dish is called Simple Sautéed Vegetables. And uh, I really use all the ingredients that I used in the recipe in uh, other dishes like pastas, steaks, and stuff like that. And I just kind of played around with it, see what tasted right, see what tasted good until I found something that just worked perfectly. Experiment. Just have fun with it. Be yourself and cook within yourself. Don't try something too big. Keep healthy and make sure that you utilize all the ingredients that you can to make something that works perfectly. I've always wanted to work in the restaurant industry, either being an owner, a chef, a waiter, anything. Winning this competition w would mean to me, like, it would give me reassurance and confidence that I have the ability to be someone like that. I, um, I really hope to go to a cooking school and this would just help me gain confidence that I could do that. Keaton's participation in this contest has really impacted our family in a very positive way. He is encouraging all of us to eat healthier and he spends a lot of time watching the Food Network and he comes up with alternative recipes if they're not healthy and he talks to us about it and I have to go and buy the food for him and he'll cook it for us. And he's really encouraging the whole family to eat healthier, exercise, so it's a really good thing. I've heard him talking to his friends, trying to get them to aim towards the more healthy food. He even says things to us sometimes about trying to eat a little healthier and he's learning lifelong habits which are great um, and I think that as much as we can tell him these habits, participating in something like this, it's 
better for him because he can live it and teach others. It's great.